I'm Teresa with Potomac Bees. Today we will create quick, nice lacy bracelet with round duo and round duo mini and some milky seed beads. So let's get at them and start working. This bracelet is a two needle project. I'll be using two, needle of, two needles of size 12. We will be working with wildfire. I will be using the white one. We will be working with Milky 15 O's and Milky 8 O's and then we will add round duo minis and round duos. I went for three colors but you can only work with one or decide on your own. So I thread it into my two needles to um, an arm span long piece of thread and on my needle I added one eight o, two fifteen o's, uh, one k button through one of those holes, and three fifteen o's to start with. We will start at the first end. So slide these beads into the middle of your thread. Then pick the same needle, go through the second hole of the k button. Put away things that might get into it, of course, which I didn't do. And then put on two more 15 O's. So now the three are sitting in the cup button. And with the needle, go through the 8 O from the opposite side. And pull. And now you have something like this which is our starting point. Now we will be starting adding the round rows. So first you will work with only one needle. So on that needle I will put on one 15 o. I will put on then the round row mini. Don't forget to check both holes. Put on second 15 o. Put on around duo, the regular size, put on another 15 o, another around duo mini, again check, checking the holes, and then one 15 o and one 8 o. So, sorry for this blue. So you have this on your thread, slide it down, Set this beetle, uh, beetle. Set this needle aside. Take the other one. Put on one fifteen o. And then go through the second hole of the round row mini. Try not to have a loop like I did. And pull. Put on another 15 o, go through the hole of the second round row, another 15 o, going through the hole of the second round row mini, and the last 15 o, and I will go from the other side through the 8 o and pull. Now try to keep the beads in one straight line so you don't have to um, correct it later which means you need to have the same tension on both of the side of the thread. And like this I will be switching colors. So taking one of those needles adding again 15 o around duo mini of my second color I'm going for the metallic aqua now again the 15 o then second round duo, this time the regular size again a 15 o then again small round duo and 15 o and lastly the 8 o sliding things down now set the needle aside, take the second one, 
put on a 15 hole, go through the second hole of the round row mini, pull, second 15 hole, getting through the second round row mini, oh sorry, the second round row, another 15 hole, another round row mini, 15 0 and again go through the 8 0 that is already there through the other side. Pull, put the beads into the straight line, and now the final touch will be in the third color. So you can work with the same needle as we did. So 1 15 0 round row mini in the third color, which is metallic emerald, 15 0 regular round duo, 15 -0. round duo mini, 15 -0. and 8 -0. slide down, and then switch the needles again, put on a 15 -0. and go through the other hole of the round duo mini, Keep the beads in the straight line. Good. And like this, continue until you reach the length of the bracelet or necklace or anklet you need. You can choose colors as you wish. So what I did with my previous sample was that after the emerald, I put on again a blue and then again purple, blue, emerald, blue, purple. But you can also do it just three of them, so purple, blue, green, purple, blue, green, that's totally up to you. So I will finish the length I need. So for my 16 centimeter wrist I have nine groups of round rows, which then gives me long enough bracelet for my wrist. Once you reach the length you need, put on 35 15 holes on one needle. Take the other one and go through the bead from the opposite side. This will create a loop. So through all of them. And then also through the 8 -oh. So now I have to pull one side, the other side. And go also with the first needle through the 8 -oh as well. And now we have one thread coming out of the edo on each side. And now we will go back through the beads adding more 15 nodes. So grabbing for example the needle of, on my right side, I will go through the 15 nodes, just through the 15 nodes underneath the edo. I will put on three 15 nodes and go through the next 15 0 Then I will put on 5 15 0s Go through the next 15 0s between the round rows. Then I will put on 3 15 0s again. Go through this last 15 0 above the 8 0 and then through the arrow as well. I will set this needle aside, grabbing the other one. And again I will go through the 15 over here. Grab three 
Fifteenos. Go through the fifteeno on this side. Now five again. Going through the fifteeno and finally three again and going through the fifteeno here. And lastly, going to the other side through the 8 -o. Now you can pull. Don't pull uh, after you have only one side done because that might cause um, the round rows and the 15 rows to lean to one side or the other. So do it now after you have both sides done. And now again you will do the same and get to the button so you will go through the 15 ohm and then add the 3 15 ohm here, 5 here, 3 here, go through the 8 ohm, switch needles and like this add the lacy look to this bracelet. After you reach the other side, uh, stop at the point where both of your threads are coming out of the 8 ohm. Then grab one of those needles and what we want to do is just to reinforce all this part. So I'll be going up through the 15 holes underneath the cup button and through the cup button. And then go down directly through the cup button, skip the three beads inside and the thread will hide anyway underneath them, so it's okay. If you manage at the same time or later, go also again through the two 15 holes underneath the button on the other side and then back to the 8 hole. There is a lot of thread now so it might be a bit tricky but it's a big bead so no worries. And from here all you need to do is to knot up the thread and hide it. So I will go into the 15 holes again and go underneath the thread between two beads, creating a small loop going through it and tying it. And then I will go through the nose behind the knot and through the 15 oh here to the round row. It really doesn't matter where you do it. And here I can cut off the thread. And the same I will do with the thread on the other side. I can do knot also directly here. Going through the loop, tying it, going through the beads, away, and through the round wall because it's a nice, nice spot. Tie it up and cut it, and that's it. And this is how you create the bubbles on the string bracelet. So thank you very much for watching my tutorial for this lovely cute lacy bracelet which is actually great for some round rows you are with you have just a few and who are left in your stash so get onto it. If you need any of those beads you can click into the description below the video and you will find links to our websites. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you had fun. You can ask questions in our Facebook group Beading and Jewelry Making, you can post uh, final pictures of your results, I'll be super happy to see them. Thank you very much and see you in the next one!